like it. What if nobody comes in my gap and somebody comes in the backside back gap? You keep your eyes in your gap and a hand in the backside gap. That is 100% correct. Good job, Coach Hardaway. You get an A+. Plus. thinks they're entitled to something, you know, and I tried to explain to them that they're entitled to, the, you know, they're not entitled to anything, that, it, you know, everything is earned. All that together does not mean or did not mean that we were automatically going to be good, that we were automatically going to be just given this glorified path to success, that we were going to be handed a conference championship, that we're going to be guaranteed a slot to be playing over Thanksgiving. Um, so the whole thing is you're not entitled to anything. We carried that over in everything that we did. It kind of kind of stuck and I think I was I was glad the kids bought into it and I think that over the throughout the course of the season that you know, not just myself, but the rest of the, our coaches really kind of used it as, you know, at some point during the season as an encouragement or, you know, or, or a motto at some point. So anyhow, and our kids kind of just bought into it. And I think that you could see on several different kids' posts, whether it was on Twitter or Facebook or so forth, uh, you know, they kind of had bought into it too and understood what it meant.
being a completely different team, different guys had, had, after having lost everybody, bought into the fact that we were still the guys that were being hunted. They really bought in and thought, well, we're going to have to work hard. We're going to have to run crisp routes. We're going to have to, you know, read our keys on defense. We're going to have to block, uh, you know, well on offense. I mean, it's and, and they really bought into it and figured out that if I want something, I've got to work hard. You know, every single Friday night, they understood that, and uh, and then the the tricky part was getting them to understand that it wasn't going to be easy. There was no doubt in my mind with the kids that we had coming back that. I thought we would be very competitive and, had, and really had a chance in our conference. So. Several times in those our game, I think when the they're late in the game, the tides are turned. We, you know, and things started going against us a little bit. And I felt like that our kids really just came together. And you know, I think it was right after they scored. You know, I looked at them and, and told each one of them. Out there in the huddle, that you know, I can't win the game for them. Coach Hardaway can't do it. You know, Coach Walter, Coach Floyd, we can't do it. You know, it, it's up to them. You know, the, because we had what we were wanting in the palm of our hand, and all we had to do is is attain it. And you know, I felt like that at that moment, that, you know, it was. You know, they just they went out there and we got it done. You know, we, we ended up going to scoring and, and, and won the ball game there late in the game and uh, after being behind and in the conference championship game. And anyhow, I was very, very proud of them for that, for that moment.
amazing job, fellas. I, I, I honestly couldn't be more proud of a group of kids. Hey, hey, absolutely outstanding job. Hey, guys, the hard work that you guys have put in all, all year, preseason, summertime, they, they're here at the beach. Hey, man, it's showing. <laughs> I know that was forever ago. Hey, it's showing. Okay? Hey, and we left again in the second half. We come out, and, I mean, we absolutely wore them out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Special, special teams, defense, and offense. Yes, sir. That was an outstanding job in the second half by everybody. The total team effort. Yeah. I'm very, very proud of you guys. Yeah! Hey, congratulations, fellas. We just got, got ourselves one more week of football. Yes, sir. Yeah! Take your life back, take your time, look and fuck them to the tribe. Check the rhyme, look at I was doing bad, couldn't find. Look at my phone ringing all the time. Look at we the only ones, holy sons. Mama's dead, kids holding guns. Catch them early, put that poison in their bodies with a Donald Trump. Walking around with the zombies. I know my home team got me. Michael Jordan with the Scotty. Apollo Green with the Rocky. We gon' take it fast, you can take it slow. We don't take no risks. Drop out of school wave, don't be a full wave Stop being a slave for minimum cruel wage Graduate and try your luck, couple thousand for them bucks What you got, a desk job or a sex job? Boy, you still getting f up, up Quit it now, break the pillars down I don't fall in love, I just hit it now She said, why is that? I just gave her fast Gave my heart up once and I ain't get it back Turn it to a savage, happy with the madness Sick of living broke, trying to find a balance Moving through the pain, but they steady found them bearing on my fruits, feed them my battalion Take it fast, you can take it slow We don't take no breaks, we just take control Yes, sir. Especially the second half, we left no doubt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Left no doubt, did exactly as you were asked to do, executed the game plan, and did an outstanding job. Yes, okay? yes, hey, I told you guys, they don't work hard enough in hell enough. Yes, sir. They don't work hard enough to be that. Yes, they don't have to work hard for anything in their life. Yes, sir. We're going to show them right now in Yale County, Arkansas, that we work hard for everything that we got. Yes, sir. We're actually going to hit them right square in the mouth like they ain't never been hit before. You understand me? Yes, sir. Hey, let's go take this one home. Yes, sir. Yeah. Big tricks on three. One, one two, two, three. three. Big tricks. <laughs>
Guys, keep your heads up. This football team has had their backs against the wall all season. From start, starting in the summertime, we weren't supposed to be, everybody, supposedly we lost everybody, we weren't going to be worth the crap. This football team won 10 games. You guys have something to be proud about. Okay? Hold your heads high. This ball game will not define this football team. What defines this football team is how hard you guys work and put in up to this point. Come on, guys. Go, boys. Keep on three. One, two, three, team. Legacies are not made overnight. They're forged over a period of time, hard work, determination, dedication, and unshakable character. This past year, you established your legacy beneath those Friday night lights. Along with that comes the everlasting memories, and that no one can take away. Time comes and goes, as you are finding out, and Phyllis McGinley says it flawlessly. Time is the thief you cannot banish, but the memories you've each created are countless and they last as long as time itself. Seniors, you have passed something down to the underclassmen that they are so blessed to have, and that's heart. Underclassmen, take note of what these seniors have shown you. Listen to what your coaches are saying and learn from it. Don't just be potential. Don't look back in the years to come and only see the potential. Don't only see what you could have been, who you could have been, how hard you should have worked. But instead, look back and see what you were, who you were, and how great you were, who you are now. Turn that potential into greatness. We all know you can do it, but that is your own personal choice. Don't be afraid to make it. I would like to personally say thank you for bringing this community together in unity. I am both very proud and very thankful for being able to capture such special moments. The things you've done will be talked about for years to come, and being able to watch boys grow into young men is such a special opportunity that we all cherish so much. Thank you for the excitement, for the tears, for the laughs. And most of all, thank you for the memories. You know, that's one thing I'll say about our kids is no matter their skill level, we've been fortunate to coach a group of kids that, you know, they may not be the most skilled, but they've got a tremendous amount of heart. And the fact that some of their chests are big enough to hold that heart is just kind of crazy. The motivation comes from just seeing kids be successful and, you know, wanting the same things that I wanted and that drove me to want to coach, so. Heck, you'd have to have a heart big as that, or a chest as big as that desk right there to hold in some of these guys' hearts. And it's just really, it's really cool to coach kids like that. You know, so hopefully that these young men will take, you know, take that that toughness and the mentality and the attitudes that, you know, and the work ethic that we've instilled in them, you know, into the future and, you know, whether it's, 
you know, in college or, you know, everyday life getting a job or, you know, whatever it is, but hopefully they'll remember those things and understand that anything's possible as long as they believe in it and work hard for it.